welcome to our channel. This is Varsha from International Organization of Software Developers and we are here with another exciting episode of our online interview series. Today I have with me Rohit Kumar, fourth year student from Delhi Technological University who recently got placed at Times Group. So hi Rohit, how are you? Hey, I'm fine. Uh, I, as you just introduced me, I am a fourth year student from Delhi Technological University majoring in computer science and I just recently got placed in Bennett Coleman, uh, the Times Internet is a software development branch of it. Okay, so we're going to jump right into the interview now. First thing first, Rohit, how did you begin your preparation for these placements? Okay, so I started my uh, pre pre preparation for uh, these placements after third year, where I started concentrating on computer coding, majorly visiting websites like Geeks for Geeks and CodeChef, where I, uh, I solved a lot of uh, previous year examples. Also, my seniors helped me a lot in uh, finding out what, what all questions to do and what all topics to explore. So uh, they helped me a lot and also my, uh, uh, and also your society also helped me by providing a lot of uh, uh, practice problems for uh, these companies. So that, that's how I started. Okay, and when do you think is the right time to begin preparation for these placements? Uh, although I started late, uh, end of third year is pretty late for starting your um, preparation for placements and I would, I would recommend my juniors to start it as early as they can, like uh, starting from first year itself, they should uh, be in contact with their seniors who would uh, give them the right uh, information about where to study from, where the, uh, the websites to visit like Geeks for Geeks and uh, HackerRank, LeetCode, these all provide uh, a lot of uh, examples of previous year questions and all the uh, question bank which they have. So uh, yeah, uh, start as soon as you can because uh, even um, like I know people who started from first year itself and they have uh, they, they they were able to crack a lot of uh, high paying companies like Google and Facebook and uh, uh, yeah so that would be my advice to just start as early as you can. And then you did you prepare independently or were there any organization involved while you were you know preparing for the placements? Uh, no, actually I started uh, independently mostly, but obviously your uh, your uh, company, as I already told, uh, was a very major help to me, uh, apart from your company, uh, Geeks for Geeks and other websites were also helpful. But yeah, I, made, I mostly did it independently and I would also advise my uh, juniors to uh, do it indep as independently as you can because if you're doing it independently, you are, you are the master of your own uh, destiny in, in that case and you can uh, choose to do it uh, at your own pace. So and it also gives you a lot of freedom. So yeah, uh, I I would like you I would like my juniors to uh, do it mostly independently. And please tell us some potential mistakes to stay clear of while preparations in the process. Yeah, so uh, there are a lot of mistakes which uh, uh, juniors can uh, can fall into. Uh, a lot of traps which juniors can fall into while preparing for these companies. Uh, some of them being uh, being overly divided into what they want uh, in their resume. Like I know some people who have uh, written everything from machine learning to Android to web dev to data science and uh, like everything, everything under the sun. But then what happens is when, when you go to the interview, ask you, uh, sees your resume and sees that you have done almost everything which uh, any anyone can imagine. Then what happens is that that the that the interview asks uh, asks you questions based on that, and because you not you have not done um, most of the things which you have said on your resume, you are going to um, you you are going to not get the job. And other thing is that even even if you are diversifying your portfolio and adding as much as you can. The thing is, you, uh, to pass the uh, interviews, you need to have a basic skill set and basic uh, uh, computer programming skill set and computer coding uh, skill set. If, uh, if you are not able to do that, nothing is going to matter. Uh, all your uh, Android and machine learning skills are not going to be utilized because that's the reality right now. Everyone wants computer coding to be, um, uh, expects you to know computer coding. Everyone wants to do that. So uh, uh, what my recommendation would be to uh, have these th kind of uh, skill set in your resume but focus mainly on your computer coding skills because that's what's going to uh, get you inside be these companies. Okay, so that was about the preparation process and everything. Moving on, I do realize that internships and projects are like very important aspect of your academics. Yes. Tell us about your internship. Where did you do your first internship? Uh, yeah, so my first internship I did was when I was uh, in second year. Um, by the end of second year, I did my first internship, which was under IOSD itself. I was the um, I was the project leader in this uh, uh, this project which we did. It was uh, creating a library management system. Uh, I have, we have been assigned a team. Uh, and I was uh, responsible for the front end of it. So I designed the front end in Java and my teammates did the back end in SQL. 
uh, apart from my first uh, uh, first project uh, i would also recommend uh, my uh, juniors to act, uh, have at least three or four uh, projects under their name uh, in their resume because if you do that the com- uh, it gives a good impression to the company and also uh, the company can ask you based on what you have done in your projects that also gives a plus point to the company to uh, know what you know and uh, to judge your skill set Okay, so like summer breaks before the placement, you didn't do any internship as such. Ah uh, no no, uh, the summer break just before the placement, I was not uh, involved in a lot of uh, um, these kind of play, um, internships because I was more co- concentrating on my um, uh, on my competitive coding because uh, my seniors have advised me that uh, all these companies which are going to come, they're going to ask you competitive coding to get through the first round. If you're not going to go through the first round itself, then your uh, then your entire resume does not matter because the company won't even consider you. So in order to get through the first round, you need to have a really strong skill set on your competitive coding skills. And so I dedicated my entire summer vacation of third year finals uh, for this uh, purpose. along with the projects and internship i think cgpa factors also affects your chances of getting selected how do you how would you like to comment on that yeah of course uh, there is no uh, uh, there's no doubt that cgpa is a very very big deciding factor in which companies you get placed or not because some companies come and they have a really high threshold of cgpa like if you have scored below that you will not be uh, allowed to sit in that they won't even consider you as a as a candidate so yeah um, for uh, in my college uh, if you have a cgp above 6 or above 7 you don't have to care about uh, most of the company threshold because they are that, that only uh, so yeah if you keep your cgp above 6 you, uh, you will um, you will be able to sit in most of the companies which are coming so uh, i would advise my juniors to keep a cgp above 6 or if you can above 7 will be like uh, you don't after after you have a cgp above 7 you don't even have to consider about the cgps but above 6 will be a safe bet Okay, going back to the placement interviews, how many rounds were there? Okay, so for my uh, placement interview at uh, Times Internet, there were total three rounds. The first round was an online round where we have to go to a uh, uh, a, 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 a computer center where we have to give uh, give an online exam. The online exam was of twenty uh, five to thirty minutes, where the it was divided into two parts. One was general aptitude, other was Java. So uh, I was pretty confident with my Java and general aptitude part. That's why I uh, my rank was six out of the four hundred students that that gave the first round. So uh, and yeah, the first round is very important for you because not only you are uh, going to be selected from like a lot of people, like I was selected from four hundred people in the first round, but also because uh, the first round results gives a really good impression towards you know, towards your uh, interviewee. The interviewee sees that you are. you are uh, better than uh, those 400 uh, students who had also applied for the post and also gives an impression that you know what you are uh, uh, what you what you know like uh, they they know that you are really good with the concepts and all so that really helps for the first round uh, and as for the second round the second round was mostly a technical interview where uh, it was for the subdivided into two rounds the first was a uh, one on one round where uh, we had to um, very ask this basic java and basic database questions the basic java questions were like what's the difference between operator overloading and operator um, uh, overriding and uh, basic database questions like um, if you have a cartesian product and joins then why do we use them what are the uses of joins different types of joins uh, and and these type of things so uh, yeah so that was the first round of the second round technical the the second round of the second round technical was um, a written uh, coding question where we had uh, two questions algorithmic uh the first one was a, a very the uh, first one was an easier one the first one was a, just a kadane algorithm implementation uh, larger sum summary the second one was a bit difficult i would say because uh, that was was a advanced dynamic programming question uh, it was actually basically egg dropping problem where you have given n eggs and a case study building and to basically find out the threshold uh, uh, the, the 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 threshold height at which the egg drops uh, and breaks so that that would be done using dynamic programming so i did that because i had uh, done the practice questions before and i was much more confident in doing those questions uh, and that's why i would recommend my juniors to uh, uh, keep on doing these type of questions uh, from all the topics like dynamic programming backtracking uh, 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 and 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 all of these uh, uh, genres of um, computer coding that's very important for you even even for your uh, technical interviews 
Okay, so seems like that was a time when the interview literally grinded you on your exactly. technical skills. Yes. Okay, so moving on, like were there any HR rounds as well there? Yeah, there was the last round HR round. Uh, the, uh, for most companies, if you make it till HR round, because each round is an elimination round, so you need to pass each round uh, to get to the next round. So if you reach the HR round, that means you have uh, finally uh, passed all the technical rounds and there, there's no question that uh, they, don't, they doubt about your technical abilities. For uh, the HR round, the HR round is only there to uh, to judge how you would fit in the office environment and all. So uh, that's not an el- elimination round generally because I've never seen anyone getting rejected at HR round. Although there have been a few instances where that had happened. So I would just advise people to be uh, very open, very truthful and very positive towards uh, uh, the interview in the HR round. Because they want you to know uh, how compatible you are with people. Uh, so it's, it's basically... Um, uh, uh, around where they uh, see your personality and not your uh, technical knowledge so do it like that only and you will uh, pass the HR round so the HR round was more like you know testing your or you know judging not judging I would say I mean evaluating yes. your personal skills there okay so like tell us some common mistakes that students make while they're Appear for these placement interviews? Alright, so a few common mistakes which students do while they were preparing for these kind of interviews were um, sometimes they would uh, write a lot in their resume which does not correspond to their actual skill set. So when that happens, uh, people are going to uh, fumble over the questions and uh, the interview is going to know that the person does not know anything. Like one of my friends, he, he stated in his resume that he knows uh, Java and, uh, and other stuff like uh, Lambda functions. And then the interview asked him, what, what do you mean by Lambda function? And he, was, he had no idea what that was. So these kind of uh, things happen and, and, it, and it leaves a very bad impression on the interviewer. So don't do that kind of stuff. Uh, for uh, other mistakes is like obviously it's going to be an interview so you're going to be very stressed out because it's uh, an interview and you you want to you want that job so uh, if you if you are really that stressed out during the interviews you are not going to make it because you're going to make some mistakes in that stressful moment and that's going to decide for the interviewer that uh, the guy is not up for it or the girl is not up for it so uh, be uh, just think that uh, it doesn't matter if you get the uh, job or not doing before the interview that will going to relax you a lot because now you don't have uh, that uh, that uh, stress on you that uh, what will happen if uh, I'm rejected uh, during the interview process so that's a very important psychological factor to take into account and uh, that is uh, the main reason why people make mistakes during the interviews okay thank you so much for your valuable points to the viewers also at the end would you like to share some tips with the students who are preparing for these placements yeah, I mean, uh, as I've already said, um, just uh, focus on your competitive coding because uh, most of the technical round is going to be about your data structure and algorithms. Uh, just be focused on what you want to do. Uh, if you are like, for example, applying for Android developer, then you should know basics of Java and, and they, are, they are going to ask you a lot about Java if you're going for Android feed. So you should know about what you are going to do. Um, obviously, for any field, you, you must know basics of data structures and algorithm, even if you are web developer and all. And um, just concentrate on uh, competitive programming if you want uh, a software developer job. That's a uh, and visit websites like Geeks for Geeks. They are like the biggest uh, source of all these uh, information and questions. Uh, so yeah, that will be my tips. Thank you so much, Rohit, for your valuable time. It Thank was you. great pleasure, you Thank know, you. having an interaction session with you. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Although we have some good stuff coming up in the next video, so I'll see you there in the next video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you have any doubt, put it in the comment section and the experts will get back to you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.